Cameron and I shot four intros, three disclaimers, lots of test footage, and sent emails back and forth to Skydio support. The answer is yes, it flies, and here's the video why you might still want to try it, even though I don't recommend it. This video is going to be long, so let's roll the short intro. First of all, the saint over at Skydio who gets told to deal with my support request has the following verbatim warning. We ask that you leave a disclaimer in the video or comments for the Skydio community at large when making videos like the one provided. You cannot make changes slash modifications to the Skydio 2 2 Plus without prior approval from Skydio. Changes or modifications not expressly approved by Skydio could void the user's authority to operate the equipment and void the user's warranty. We want to be sure that the users are not unintentionally voiding their warranty by changing or modifying their drones. My warning is that these 3D printable files, which I am attaching to the video's description and pointing you to an exit shop if you don't own a 3D printer, are specifically designed to accommodate anti-collision lighting, which is linked in the video description. As part of the FAA safety team as a drone pro, it is my job to ensure that you are educated in the knowledge that using anti-collision lighting is a legal requirement 30 minutes before sunset and using anti-collision lighting during the day can improve and extend your ability to maintain line of sight. Although it is certainly possible to operate your Skydio 2 at night using these printable files, the Skydio 2 won't be happy to do so and you can easily crash your drone. If you crash your drone, you're on your own, don't try this anywhere. Before we get to it, these videos take time and effort, so if you like the video, press that red button and if you want to see more content like this, then press that other red button and you'll get more videos like this. First, these items are 3D printable and require an anti-collision light kit. I bought these four sets of lights for $20 and added a firehouse anti-collision light on the rear just in case. These are actually not interfering with obstacle avoidance because we tested it just to see if it would freak out like the old attempt. These were more than happy to whip around at full speed during the day. Attaching these to the drones is easy. Take off the propeller, push them on using pressure, and you can just leave them on as long as they fit in your case. In terms of flight performance, Skydio support confirmed that the Skydio 2 2 Plus don't have the required hardware for GPS night flight in the form of a magnetometer, but that is okay because we're going to fly in obstacle avoidance mode here. Unlike GPS night flying, we can fly at night while maintaining obstacle avoidance like in this example with a Skydio, it's coming down and detect the trash can and reacts correctly. This gives you the best of both worlds because you can fly above the lights and as you approach an object, the anti-collision lights act as a continuous lighting for obstacle avoidance. We were able to fly in dark conditions and even take some footage, however we had to resort to using the manual skill in the Skydio 2 app as the drone told us it wasn't safe to fly and didn't allow any other smart skills like keyframe or the new program as skills. Additionally, the screen on the phone gets an overlay that darkens everything, so good luck figuring out how your footage is going to look compared to what's being captured. I sent an email about this to Skydio and I wouldn't hold my breath for it. I am currently finishing up the propeller guard testing and final fit, so I expect to have an update on that part of this coming soon. I'm super excited that there is a way to add lights to the Skydio 2 as it is one of the most common ways to extend visual line of sight through anti-collision lighting and I'm happy you all watched this video so far. Thank you for your time.